So um, we are today a couple of days after uh, Mathieu van der Poel, MVDP's miraculous, fabulous uh, win in the Amstel Gold Race last Sunday. And I got um, intrigued by a um, image that was sent to me with some of the power data of Mathieu in uh, his final kilometer, the sprint of this uh, super finish where he uh, came back uh, basically out of nowhere to overtake uh, people like uh, Ala Philippe uh, for the win uh, which was considered one of the most spectacular uh, finishes I would say in the last uh, 10 years in uh, cycling history so on the Facebook page of uh, Corendon Circus his team um, the stats were uh, published by Wahoo so let me zoom in a little bit on that. So this is what I'm talking about here. So in the last 800 meters, obviously he finished first. Speed 59 kilometers an hour, max 67, 830 watt average for a 105 average cadence. So this made me wonder, how does it compare to the lesser gods, eh? like the 42 year old mammal, myself, the fly, so I, um, I started uh, to look up um, what Mathieu did uh, on Strava. So here we actually have um, Mathieu's Strava file of this famous Amstel Gold Race. So what can we see here? Uh, the usual uh, Strava stats, um, the track, and as you can see, the race in total was, um, where is it, 260 kilometers. So let's zoom in a little bit on that, like that. OK. So this is the race he did. I compared it to the one and only real race that I did, uh, which is comparable to race intensity, which was uh, the criterium in my uh, close to my hometown, Baardegem, the fabulous mundane Baardegem and about two years ago in September I did a race there which was 39 kilometers or 40 kilometers and I finished it second and I lost it in the sprint and if you see want to see how that sprint went well here's a video about it <laughs> Right, so as you can see, I lost the sprint probably by about uh, 20 centimeters. But I do know that was one of my strongest power outputs for about um, 30 seconds. So what I started to do here is to compare the two races. The 260 kilometer Amstel Gold Race, won by Mathieu van der Poel, versus the Criterium Baardegem, the second place, by the fly, the A mammal. So let's first have a look at this fabulous sprint of Mathieu. So if we go, thanks to the Strava Elevate ex um, Chrome extension, to best splits, we can see here that on 30 seconds, Mathieu, all the way in the end of the race, averaged 926 watts for an averaged heart rate of 102 beats per minute and an average cadence of 111. So how does that compare to my sprint uh, in the criterium? Let's have a look. So on 30 seconds, I did 842 watts. And as you can see, it was indeed at the end of the race, near the finish. I did that at a heart rate of a whacking 196 beats per minute, which is very, very high for me as an average for certainly over 30 seconds at an average cadence of 104. Now, remember with me, it was a sprint after a race of 40 kilometers with Mathieu. It was a sprint in a race 100, uh, sorry, 260 um, kilometers. 
if we compare the overall stats of the race, so apart from the distance, uh, we can also have a look at the um, normalized power. So for Mathieu's Amstel Gold race, his normalized, normalized power was 355 watts over the entire race of 6 hours 26. In my case, the race lasted, where is it? One hour and two minutes. And I had a normalized power of 323 watts. What else can we compare? So apart from the sprint all the way in the end, which I consider to be a 30 second effort, what if we look at the best five minutes in both races? So if you look at Mathieu's best five minute split, you can see here, it was also all the way in the end of the race here, the last five minutes of the race, Mathieu averaged 459 watts, at a heart rate of 186 at a cadence of 99. If I look at my five best minutes in my race, so again, a lot shorter race, of course. Let's have a look. So it was also in the last five minutes, and I did 368 watts at a heart rate of 179 at a cadence of 79. So what do we learn about all of this? Well, obviously, Mathieu van der Poel is a lot better cyclist than I am. How much better? Well, let's indeed have a final look um, at those figures. The distance of the race, I did 15% of the distance, uh, 40 kilometers versus 260 kilometers. My normalized power, however, although it was, of course, a race of only one hour versus the six and a half hours of Mathieu's, was at 91% of MVDP's normalized power. My sprint power, and again, I'm not a very good sprinter, over 30 seconds was 842 versus the 926 of Mathieu. So also that was 91% of Mathieu's effort. And then the best five minutes, which happened to be in the last five minutes of the race for the both of us, I did 368, Mathieu did 459, and that's a mere 80% of um, the effort. So, so this gives you a bit of a glimpse on how a um, pro rider, a top talent like MVDP compares to a pure amateur cyclist like myself the fly i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoyed watching the comparison of these numbers and i'll see you on the next video bye bye